a follow-up on our number spreadsheets um, we're going to want to introduce some features that I think you may find useful in different scenarios now what I have here in front of us is a song list uh, I have four columns I have the song title the artist the time of the song and the genre now and then of course the total time the, the idea that I did with this was so that um, I could have a set list. Now you'll notice I have set number one, set number two, and then I have a, just a, a blank sheet that we'll use to demonstrate how we got each of the items. So in the genres you'll notice that there is a down arrow. If you click on that you have a what they call a pop-up menu and you can select any item from here and it will populate that field. Now, how do you get that? How do we how do we define that column and cell with that pop-up menu? So I'm going to go to sheet one and we're going to click on the column, go to format. Notice the data format says automatic. We're going to click on it, and you see you have the whole list of things that we talked about last time about doing currency and things like that. Down here, you have a pop-up menu. If you click on that, you'll see it populates all of the cells within that column with item number one. Off to the right here, you'll see item number one, number two, number three. So. If you click there and then click on the plus sign, and in this case, let's put in uh, country, plus sign again, and we'll put in rock, plus sign, um, and um, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Now, the next thing you notice, see it says item one, but you don't want to start with a particular item because you want to select. So if you click on this box, you'll see start with a blank. Now it'll make all of those blank. In the list itself, you can then click on those items and remove item number one, number two, number three. Okay? Um, maybe you want to add in here, maybe you want to add uh, classical. The idea here is that, uh, that I'm trying to get across is that you can have this list as long as you like. And then when you click in that cell, you see you'll get this down arrow. Then what you want to do is you just click on it and select whatever you want. You can also, if you click on a column, suppose you want to rate songs. All right. You can, again, click on the column just to show you some of the other features of this data format. Come down here and you could do a star rating. All right, now what that will do then is you come in here and you say, oh, that's a three star rating or five star rating or, you know, however you want to do it. And of course, in, in up in here, you, you would use that as a label and you would just type in here rating. Okay, and then so now your list, you what it, you will end up with is something like this. Once you put in your song title, now what I did here is I put in song titles that uh, we we play, the artist, 
the time. You know, for, for us, the time is important because um, if you have an hour set, something like that. Now, this is in minutes, so you could then um, divide this by 60 and you would get, you know, an hour and some change, right? The other thing I wanted to show you is that by creating these categories, if you click on this and then right mouse click on that column, add category for genres. What does that do? Okay, let's see. Click on it. What it does, it creates categories based on the genre that you picked or selected. So however many items you have in the drop down, it will create a category for each of those and you can close them. Okay. And open them as you see fit. If you, in this particular case, you wanted another song that we didn't play um, uh, in the adult contemporary thing. Another item that I wanted to show you was, let me just open these. Now, if you add a column, All right, now we're, we've added a column here. And again, we've highlighted the column and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a checkbox. Now, by doing that, one of the things you can do is if you wanna keep track of, let's say the, songs that you've already played whoops uh, well we didn't get these so it's very easy to do we'll just come up in here command c come down here command v so if you had this on a tablet you could just come over and say, oh, I thought forever was a long time. We just completed it. Just check it off. You Then next one you play against the wind, whatever. You can check them off as you're going along. This way you make sure um, that you don't repeat a song. So these are a couple of the features that I thought would be very helpful. And if you you could incorporate them now there's like I said you could use you could make a column for your star rating you could make uh, uh, groupings based on time whatever uh, I hope it's something that you found useful and uh, let us know in the comments field thank you very much